Hello, welcome to episode 131 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, A Thousand and One Movies You Must See Before You Die, 1948's Bicycle Thieves. Um, I really feel like Italian films are just this, uh, this part of my film knowledge is really lacking. I haven't seen enough of them, um, and they do feel very Italian. Like You have films from France and Germany and all these different countries, and they have their own flavor to them, and Italian films have their own flavor to them. And I admit, it doesn't draw me in as much as, as French films or German films or Japanese films, you know. There's something about it I don't quite connect to on that, I need to see more Italian films. I'd, I'd never really felt that, you know. I, I felt I need to see more Japanese films, more German, more French. Never really felt that with, with uh, Italian films. But Bicycle Thieves certainly um, pushes me in the right direction, I think. It's a very simple film uh, about a man... Uh, and his family, but it's particularly about him and his, his young son. He has an infant uh, child as well, but his younger son, who's probably around six or seven, maybe eight years old, um, it's about the two of them, father and son, um, spending the day in the city trying to find uh, the bicycle that has been stolen from them. And this bicycle is integral to their livelihood, their life. Like, he needs this bicycle back, like, and it's been stolen by a gang of thieves. Uh, and basically the story goes is that he's been searching for a job for the longest time. He finally gets one, but he needs a bicycle. So, I mean, they literally pawn off the, the sheets of their beds to, to, to buy back the bike that he sold, you know, the week before. He gets his bike back, uh, he begins work, things are finally looking up, uh, and on his first day on the job, the bike gets stolen. It's heartbreaking. And so, all he can do, really... It's just go out and try and you know find a lead, find anything to kind of figure out who's who stole his bike and whether he can get it back from them. Uh, and his son kind of joins him along for the ride. So the majority of the film is this this father and son uh, kind of dealing with their own relationship in a way. They kind of get into arguments and stuff as they're trying to to find the thing that is going to bring their family you know uh, back to a level which they need to be at because anything less than that would be poverty and despair very bleak film and uh, I mean I, I don't know if I, sh I should even go into it but I mean uh, the ending definitely doesn't kind of tie everything up in a neat little package and one with a kind of you know and they happily lived ever after it kind of it puts a bit more of a, an interesting twist on it which I really liked and was surprised by taken aback by even um, but it's, there's a very natural feeling to this film I think I read I might, might be wrong that these are all um, uh, non-professional actors, and I, I certainly, you know, would have no trouble believing that. I really um, was drawn into the the naturalistic feel of this film, uh, but also just the very. I mean, sometimes you don't really need much in a story to hook you in. I was so invested in that bloody bicycle, and this man getting the bike back, and the thieves who had taken it, and just feeling so much anger towards them. You know, thinking, how dare you? You know, this bike is everything to him. How could you do this to him? Um, but I loved how we kind of, a little bit, we kind of get the side of the themes. We kind of get, well, this is probably why they did this. And then you kind of, you, you see kind of the circle. Which I'm always, I'm always about stuff like that. Because to me, when it comes to anything like violence or crime, I, I always try and think like, well, why did they do that? You know, where, what kind of sparked them to do that? How desperate were they? What made them desperate? I like to try and understand things, and while I can't always hold myself to that because I'm, I'm definitely someone who will snap to uh, to judge, you know, I'll, I'll admit that. I always try and think, well, wouldn't it be great if we could all just take a step back in these situations and think, well, why did they do that? And how can we help the situation, you know? Uh, I'm not saying that this film delves with, into that that deeply, but it definitely gives you a hint of it, which I like. You know, it, it didn't paint the thieves as as this just this this faceless kind of evil. It was well, you know, maybe they had their own troubles too. Maybe, you know, this was um, the way they had to live. I don't know. Very short film as well, um, but it's a, it's it's a, it's a short but powerful one. And again, I, I I really like films that can tell a compelling story. Um, that kind of hits you with with a punch of something in you know ninety minutes or less. I really appreciate the kind of the uh, the, the quantity uh, the the quality of a quantity I should say. You know you don't need a two hour film to tell a great story or to just tap into the emotions of the viewer. And this really pulls at your heartstrings. I, I feel like um, a lot of people will call it like the greatest film ever made. I can see the thinking for sure. 
Um, and I definitely need to watch it again a few more times, but I, I just, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Is it a film we'll see before you die? I definitely think it is. It's, uh, it's a great film, actually. Um, but, you know, for me, it, it didn't, you know, I wasn't like, oh my god, that was, that was incredible. I was like, wow, that, that was great, you know. It, it just, it, it did so much with, with so little in terms of the plot. Um, but I just love the way that it was set up too, and just all the little scenes that were linked together, which I guess that's what any film is like, but you know, I, I, I liked the flow of it, I liked the moving from A to B to C to D, and kind of revealing more about uh, the relationship between the father and son as they went along, and also, you know, just these little... Uh, it, it, it kind of highlights the the kind of class issues as well. I think there's a scene where he takes his son in to eat some food, and they're looking over at a rich family who can eat whatever they want, and you kind of get the juxtaposing the, the the two class systems in that restaurant scene. But um, yeah, it's a very simple film, but heartfelt and uh, in its own way beautiful. I think so. It is a film you must see before you die. And let me know your thoughts on it if you've seen it. Thank you for watching.